Hey, here we are again today in the recording studio. We're actually in one of the back rooms of the recording studio, uh, rarely seen by anyone but engineers. And we're looking at some uh, pair of graphic equalizers that um, are, um, can be used for a room equalization on big speakers, big soffit mounted speakers mounted in the, in the studio. And that's what these are used for. But actually, a graphic equalizer can be used for many different things. It's just a different form of an equalizer. The graphic part means it actually sets a graph. You can adjust these, and they have an, the appearance of being graphical, hence graphic equalizer. And each different band, it's, it's uh, frequency selectable, each different band has its own volume control either up or down. You can boost or cut. And uh, if you've ever heard the term the smiley face uh, curve, that's referring to what it would look like on a graphic equalizer. And that's when you have it going uh, and it can start in uh, with no uh, gain at all in the low end and it dips in the mid range and then comes up to no gain in the high end and that can either be universally raised or lowered but it's called the smiley curve it has a little bit of a dip in the mid range and it's uh, a little bit higher on the top and the bottom but, uh, graphic EQs now in the digital world in our programs that we use such as uh, Nuendo Pro Tools and such we see these same type of devices but they're actually uh, on the screen so you can take your mouse and adjust them on the screen this is just an analog version in real life as to how, what they actually look what it actually looks like and you can uh, adjust uh, the uh, uh, either 6 dB or 12 dB per octave you can adjust a high cut a low cut a gain and turn the EQ all the way on or all the way off that's a graphic EQ